hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we'll see about lru so we'll see that what is lru how it is work and where we can use it and how it is different from different cash eviction policies so let's start with it now lru is basically a cash eviction policy so when it is used it is used whenever your cash is full so that we need to evict some items right because if your cash size is full we need to remove some items now which item to remove this is very important thing that you cannot evict the most frequently used item you cannot evict the important items which are which are used frequently right so that is why we have the different cash eviction policies and guys if you do, if you don't know about the caches so you could see my previous tutorial where i have explained caches in detail so now cash eviction policies there are so many like first in first out last in first out or based on some other algorithms as well but this lru which is least recently item cash eviction policy is best and i could say almost 90% or 90 to 100% people use this lru in their cash eviction policies so what is this it says let's say if your cash size is 144 gb now as soon as your 140 gb is full you need to evict some items right so what you do you evict the least recently items and that is the obvious thing right because you do not want to evict the most frequently items you always want to evict the least recently items and that's what this lru says all about right now the important thing is how we can implement this right so lru is implemented by using double linked list and hash map so we'll see that what is the concept of it so let's say uh, this is a hash map and this is a linked list double linked list so what happens so let let's take example of the cache so this double linked list is a cache size and right now let's say we have the six item which it can accommodate right so now uh, what happens let's say if starting linked list is full so we'll insert the items then we'll again insert the item we'll again insert the item and what we do like whenever we are inserting item we are always inserting item at the starting so by this concept what will happen that the most frequently used items will be at the starting of the linked list right because they are the new items so i will, so i we are putting at the starting and even if item is repeated we are putting at the starting of the linked list so by this way that the least recently items will be at the end of the linked list right so whenever your cache is full will just remove the items from the end right so that's the concept of lru that remove the item from the end of the linked list and put the item which are most frequently used at the starting of the linked list so let's say this was the first item this was second third fourth fifth and sixth item right now whenever a item is repeated so what we need to do first we need to check that whether the item is already present in double linked list or not so what we will do we will search from the starting in big o fan will check that if item is present or not so let's say if n4 so if n4 again comes now it will say yes n4 is present now this n4 will be uh, put in the starting of the linked list so now this n4 will move from here to here right so let's say if there is no hash map so it would so it would work in this manner that will keep on adding the items at the front and if item is already present in the linked list then we'll move this item from middle to the front right now the problem with this that if we if we do only by using double linked list so it will take time in searching that if item is already present in this double linked list it will take big of n so that is why we need the hash map so what hash map does hash map is hash map is used basically to improve the searching so in hash map we can get the searching big of 1 so through hash map what we will do we will put the keys as an integer and then we will put the values as a node and which will point to the double linked list node so what would happen let's say if any new items comes so we will first check in the hash map that whether this key is present in hash map or not if not then we put the item into linked list and then we will put the this item as well in the hash map with the value as the node which is referencing to the double linked list so let's say this p1 so this p1 is pointing to the n3 now p2 is pointing to the node in double linked list right so what would happen let's say if any if any items comes so first we'll check directly in the hash map that whether this item present in hash map it says yes item is already presented 
so what we'll do we'll go directly to the node and then we'll move this node to the front of the double link list so now what is the complexity complexity is big of one on searching and then moving the item to the front is again big of one right so that's it so now using the hash map we have improved the complexity very good right we are getting in big of one and big of one so that is why we use the hash map for making the search faster right so that's what we have written here that double link list is used to store the list of pages with the most recently used items at the start of the link list so as more pages are added to the list least recently used pages are moved to the end of the list with the pages tail being the least recently used page in the list right now we as we explained hash map is used for the open access to pages in the cache now whenever page is accessed there can be two cases either the page is present in the cache so if page is already present in the cache we move the page to the start of the list like we explained and if page is not present then again we put the page into a starting of the link list is just that the entry is already in the hash map right now there can be two cases whenever we are adding page that if cache is not full then we add the page into starting of the link list now if cache is full then remove the last node of the link list and move the new page to the starting of the link list right so that's how that's how we implement the lru using hash map and double link list so that's it guys for this video we have explained that what is lru and how it is implemented and where we can use it in cache eviction policy right so that's it for this video and if you have any doubts or if you think that there is any better cache eviction policy than lru then please write in the comment section and we will discuss about it so that's it guys thanks for watching the video and if you have got the information then please like the video and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you